Hey there everybody, this is Mrs. Bashman and I'm going to show you how to start transferring some of your collage to your sketched out drawing. So here I have my sketch and all I'm doing is I'm taking a little scrap piece of computer paper from one of the pieces that I printed out and you can do this with uh, the thin tracing paper, you could do it with like wax paper, anything that's really thin that you can see through. And what I'm doing is I'm laying it over top of my face here that I'm going to be tracing and I can see through this I don't even have to put it up to a light but if you have trouble seeing it you can always put it up against a window or a door or something that has some light behind it and you'll be able to see straight through so what I'm doing is I'm cutting this I'm trying cutting sorry tracing this out so I get an idea of the the shape of the the head and the neck like that so I have a bunch of different magazine pictures that I've cut out that are torn out that have different skin tones. I'm looking for advertisements that are large, that have large areas of skin tone. Here I have my reference image and I'm using this just for value. So I want to get a darker tone underneath of the neck and some lighter tones in the face with some shadows. So for now, let's see if I can get a darker tone that I want for underneath the neck. This looks like it might work pretty well right down in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line up my piece of paper right over top of the part that I wanna be cutting out right here. And I'm going to hold both of them in my hand like this. And I'm going to cut around the neck while holding both of them in my hand. Notice I keep it pinched between my fingers and I twist it around so that it's not moving. I remember I'm only using this for the neck, but I'm cutting around this whole section for now because I want to use this again. I don't want to cut off extra pieces. So here I have the section that I wanted to use for the neck. Now I'm going to disconnect the neck piece from the underside of the jaw. Stay still. That. And then if I look at this here, it looks like I could probably scoop it this way. And I don't want to lose this piece because this was the top of that jaw. I don't want to lose that. So then I can place this. Bring this back down. Hold on one second. Here's my piece. I'm going to place it right there. I'm not going to glue anything down yet because I'm just starting to lay things out. So now I want to look for a slightly lighter tone that I want to use for the bottom of the jaw. This leg might look pretty good. Come out there. Now, if you don't want to cut it out, you can while holding it, you can also take a pencil and trace around the area if it's small enough, which it is. So I'm going to trace around where I want my ears and face to be, like that. Oh no. Run away, Nick. here you can see already I'm starting to get a nice contrast between the face and the neck so it gives it that kind of realistic three-dimensional look now I want to look for another tone that I could use right in there I might be able to get away with using the thigh again no I guess I don't have enough in there Let's 
see what kind of values I have here. I feel like this is going to be way too light. May have to keep searching. Legs are too small. Ah, this will, I think this might work. Hmm. That might work. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to trace it again. Because I didn't trace that scoop neck part. I forgot I had a shirt line. If you can't see your pencil lines, you can always darken them in underneath. Or even use like a, a marker or a sharpie or something. Trace them. And I'm tracing over this other piece that I have here just so I see which, which section, I'm, section I'm going for. I'm going for that piece right there. And this time I'm going to cut the shape out. But I want to trace. You'll end up with pieces of paper everywhere. If you find it's really difficult to keep track of things, you can always label them. Neck. Shoulder. That way you don't get it confused with some random piece of extra paper if it's just floating around. Oh, where'd my headpiece go? See what I mean? Stuff just gets everywhere. I don't know where the head went. Oh well, I don't need it right now, but you know, it's always important to stay organized. All right. Oh, here it is, okay. Neck. I'd say like there, that looks good. Going to trace it. And cut it up. I'll lay that underneath and put this on top. Not too bad. Now I'm not gonna glue these down yet because I want to be able to keep playing around with background and whatnot. So I don't wanna lose these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to collect these and put them into a Ziploc baggie so that I know these are the pieces that I wanna use. And also I don't wanna cover up the sketch that I'm drawing yet for the mask on top. So if I was going to sketch out the mask, get a new piece of paper here. Now that I've showed you how to do some skin tone, let me show you how to layer it. So here I'm going to be tracing the face mask. And I want to select a piece of paper. I kind of like this blue of this door right next to here. And that will fit. I'm going to trace and then cut out my mask shape. Place it on here. And I want those vertical lines to show up in it, so that's why I'm placing it sideways this way. I like the texture lines on this door. Place that on there. Cut that out.
there we go you can see how it's starting to come together so just keep in mind that you want to ooh, there we go you want to keep these organized so here i have my mask template my mask piece my face neck and kind of like the the chest area here done in skin tone now to do the the lines for the nose the eyes the lips and everything i can draw straight on top of my magazine or i can cut out a nose and lips out of color i haven't decided quite yet how i'm going to do that all right so that should at least get you started on cutting out your pieces i'll continue to assemble this and do time-lapse videos for you to see how I'm progressing.